Hello, wow, it's really me. No, this is an epic face reveal. I just was being lazy and didn't want to edit this week. Hello, humans, the university, those villains, and everything in between. I'm LaFuckMo, and today, we're doing fan films. A little context for the uninitiated, a fan film is made by someone not professional, or who doesn't own the license for Wonder Woman. Technically, these are illegal unless you use the phrase parody very well, but they tend to be small budget personal productions made by someone who likes the character. So here are the movies you're going to be looking at today. I might remember to put the stuff, the chapters down in the video line thing, so you can just jump to whichever movie review you want to see. So first film, Nubia Queen of the Amazons, made by Imperium Pictures, and released in 2023. It is 10 minutes long. Let's just jump right into the review. So there's a lot to cover here in these fan films. I want to start with some of the pros. So for a film with just one editor and four visual effects artists, the effects are pretty good for a fan film. But the acting's okay. Ares looks really bad and I don't know why. This film takes place in one location, the desert. On a horse with no name. <laughs> that, again, that's okay for a fan film. The story was a bit odd to me and you can tell that some of them are professional actors. But the rest of the acting is pretty passable. The story is a little odd and there was a point in it where there's just a bunch of who's who's of characters. I think if it had been a battle or it was just written better, the whole who's who thing could have been better. It's not a full story so it doesn't have a beginning or an end, just a middle. They used some songs from Alexander and Gladiator. The music was fine and mixed well, it didn't overpower the characters talking. The costumes are bad, you can tell it's a low production. But it does make you want to know what happened next and, and like I said, some of the characters gave good performances. It had a comic book feel which I liked. So yeah, I guess I should score them, so I don't know. Seven out of ten. I might change these as I watch more of them, I'm not sure. So the next film, well, it's a short. Um, it was made in a year and it looks great. The VFX on this were awesome and the backgrounds were great. I liked this one a lot for a short experience. It gave a lie, it was made in 2013. And the quality shows, some of the movements of the actors are odd, but I just think the setting, the music, and the overall experience kind of makes up for that. This was a short review, but next film. Oh, and if I remember, I'll try to link these down in the description. Maybe I'll remember to put them in the iCard. No, it's probably on that side. Don't, don't know which side it is, whichever side it is. So our next one is Wonder Woman Balance of Power. This was made in 2006, I think. The video I saw came out in 2021, so I'm sorry if I didn't watch the original. This is the longest one so far, just under 40 minutes. It felt like classic 70s Linda Carter Wonder Woman, and I like that. I like the combat and the suit. I actually think the suit might be the Kingdom Come-like suit, and ones used around that time. But here's a note here. That was actually just in the beginning of the movie, the suit switches. I talk about that later, but I wanted to mention it because that was actually a different clip. Because later I found the original channel, and that, uh, that suit was from a different clip thing, from a different sort of scene, film area, so I thought I should mention that here. Uh, excuse the blurry footage, this was made in 2006. I'm not sure what happened, the suit changed after the intro, and I don't like it as much. The lasso doesn't glow, just by the way. This film really felt like it came from the 70s Linda Carter show. Here's the picture of that here, I guess. <laughs> the effects are okay, if not a little outdated. Again, this is an outdated film, 2006. I did genuinely enjoy how the fight scenes felt and I don't know why. I haven't really been talking about the stories much, and that's because I don't want to spoil anything. So, But you should probably have an idea as to what you're getting into, so I'll do a little short synopsis sort of thing. World Incorporation has hired a ruthless bounty hunter to lure the world's greatest superheroes into a trap. When the new nemesis kidnaps Steve Trevor and prepares to unleash a devastating new weapon, will the final confrontation end with the destruction of Wonder Woman? That's the description of the video. Her job is an agent in her secret identity in this story, which I don't like because, well, she's meant to be doing a normal job. So being Wonder Woman would seem impossible if she's like normal lady, but anyways, I digress. Again, it's rough around the edges and some people don't have the best acting, but it's still enjoyable to watch and you sort of get stuck into these longer ones. The kidnapping part lasts for too long and feels like it drags for a little, so that brings the movie down a little in my opinion, because that was the main body of the film. But I did enjoy it, just to feel it gave up rubbed me the right way. And the acting was pretty solid, even more so I think than the first one. And Superman appeared at the end, so that was cool. Yeah, I liked this one, it was cool. There was also a Taco Wiz reference at the end, it was cool. I liked it, probably my favorite one so far. I don't know if this person ever made a Superman film, but if you want me to review any other fan film characters from Batman or Superman, I can. So the next one is called First Impressions, a Wonder Woman fan film. So this one feels the best shot so far, and has the best acting in combat, it was epic. I loved it, it was a shorter one around 2 minutes, but you kind of know everything you want to know and as far as someone's own interpretation, it feels unique for something so short and it was made 10 years ago. 
I think by Chester. It was just really well made. And the quality is great. This is my favorite one so far. It's like four minutes long and is mostly combat. But the little story it has feels like its own. And not just Wonder Woman if that makes sense. So next film. Wonder Woman Jacqueline Line. This film was... it wasn't very good. It was six minutes. The story was someone sharing a short story about Wonder Woman how she helped. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It just didn't tickle my fancy. So next one. So there was a Wonder Woman fan film trailer on Vimeo. And it was cool, some parts were weird, like she used a gun at one point. But the idea looked fun, I'm not sure if anything actually happened with it. But this next one will be coming out this year, this year uh, apparently in 2024. <laughs> it hasn't yet as of recording this. But it was called Wonder Woman 1944, cause you guessed it, D-Day. <laughs> but only time will tell if that one's gonna be good. If you want a video about it, tell me down in the comments or anything other video ideas you have. Um, next one, Wonder Woman in real life, action short film. Weird hair color, parkour. Oh, uh, it's fine, she does some sick parkour. In this universe, there's Wonder Woman can't fly. <laughs> I'm running out of films. Uh, the person who made that 40-minute uh, one made another one called Wonder Woman Battle for Justice in 2003. It was fun, I genuinely was hoping for a longer one. I saw an Uncharted fan film, well, two come to mind. So, two come in mind for Uncharted, so I was hoping to make, like, have one that was longer. But, you know, it's not easy to make a film, so I understand. I recognize that all these took a lot of people's time and effort. And I respect that, and enjoy them all in different ways. So if you know any more that I didn't see or miss, leave them down below in the comments. I might make part 2 for this video. Oh, and tell me your favorite fan film, Wonder Woman or Other Eyes again down in the comments. And as always, stay cool, stay weird, stay you, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and tell me uh, if you like this talk to camera thing because it, it should be easier to edit and I might start doing them now and again. Not too often though. Now bye.